Hello, my name is Johnny. Welcome to another World War II 172 scale video. Today we're going to look at some British transport and I believe a combat command truck by, for the UK forces. If you'd like, please subscribe, hit that notification bell, like, reply, and share. I don't remember the names exactly of these. I don't know if these are, uh, I don't know, a matador or uh, I'm not sure what. I can't remember. We'll look at this one first and then look at that one. That, I think, might be Montgomery's uh, uh, command vehicle. Let's take a look at this one. Made these a number of years ago. These might be uh, Aerofix. I'm not sure. Made over 1,000 models. A lot of brands and so forth. So I don't remember everything in the details. Let's see. It's a British truck. I got the driver in there on there I didn't bother to paint him but I put him in there and you can see he's on that side of the road if it was an American vehicle he'd be on this side there's the front it's got some weathering it says Gazala there that's from North Africa it's a side the symbols on the back there's the bottom I don't enjoy making trucks when I was a little kid, of course, they started out making jets and uh, some cars and the battleships. And then later on, I uh, got into the military vehicles, especially World War II. And then as an adult, again, getting into doing these. I don't know if I did this five years ago, eight years ago, or what have you. Yes. I always get a little bit of shine on the, the decal sometimes. I try to weather them more. I've tried different things on it, but I don't really know how to get the, get them on there without uh, getting shine. I've bought stuff that's supposed to, you put on, paint it on first, then put the decal and then paint something out on there. You put shiny down first, gloss, and then put them on and then put drab and it never seems to work to, for me. I don't know how people do it. You can see, uh, weathering and so forth on that Got a little bit of a train mat there and this one I think like I said I think this is Montgomery's uh, command vehicle for North Africa there's some of the, the details there hold on you can see the steering wheel on that side so those pull up and would pull down for shade. So it's a pretty big vehicle. Here's the back. I got the door slightly open, slightly ajar. Let's look at the bottom here. The stuff there. Let's look at it again. So I'd have that on if I play a desert game, I'd have that maybe on the board in the background, far back by some of the units. And then you can sure I'd make a great uh, diorama with those. And then this one is in the, the green with the stars. So I'd use this either in Italy or Northwest Europe. And put them up together like that. You can see that one's a little taller but it's not as long. Move it back there. Put it in front. Kind of cool vehicles, very tall. So if anything, they were on the board, you could use them. It's a little bit of cover for infantry around or so forth. Look neat. Got a lot more transport of a ton of German transport than I have been done trucks and Things I've done some of the half tracks and everything. So you've got tanks, armored cars, the, the tank variations of uh, you know self-propelled vehicles, and uh, jeeps, trucks, half tracks, brand all kinds of carriers and so forth. So I've done a lot, and I'll still have a lot more to do, and then I'll do a big uh, roundup of. Uh, some of the, the other vehicles. In the meantime, thanks for watching. More World War II 172 scale videos to come. Thank you.